what is going on everybody RZ here back in the video here today we're going to be watching all american season 5 episode 14 last episode was really really good really amazing these last three four episodes have been really good um and you really get to feel and see how much the characters are missing billy and just how much they're struggling especially live so far you know you really saw her her last episode man it was it was it was bad for her um, and I love the support Layla's giving Jordan. I love the support Spencer's giving everybody, you know. Um, but I'm just, I'm really ready for Spencer to break down, man. I think that's really that's what's gonna. I think that's the last thing to the last person that needs to realize and come to the realization that yeah, Billy's really gone and like and just deal with his emotions for everybody to move on, you know, for us to go to the next chapter um, and everybody to start healing, you know, because uh, right now it's really really tough. And um, it's just sad, man. It's just really, really sad, honestly. Because it's still, it's starting to settle in a little bit more to me. But each episode we get that Billy is really gone, you know. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I I miss him. I miss his character. He just brought everybody together. He His scenes with Spencer or Jordan were amazing. His scenes with Laura were amazing. Um, I'm just excited to see what's to come, man. I'm really, really excited. I loved last episode, though, with Spencer and Liv on the Ferris wheel. You know, him helping her so much. And you see him starting to break down. He had a huge breakdown with Coach Kenny, you know. And what he said to Coach Kenny was so disrespectful. But I hope Kenny realizes that, yo, Spencer's just grieving. He's just being hard on himself and all that stuff. So, hopefully, uh, Coach Kenny doesn't take it too hard. Um... But, yeah, I mean, I love the Asher and Jamie stuff, as always. I love that they're getting more, you know, in the show. Um, and I love when um, Layla and Jordan finally came out. Everybody saw that they were a couple. They were together. Their moment, everybody looking at them was beautiful. It was just special, man. I'm excited to see more of it. And, um, yeah, but thank you guys for all support on the All-American videos. Yo, my videos have been doing, ama doing so good. I appreciate the All-American fandom. You guys are the best. Amazing. Uh, I'm not on Twitter as much as I like used to be, you know. Um, but you know, I really appreciate you guys like supporting my videos and just like sharing them and just talking about them and just you know commenting, liking them. It really means a lot. Like you guys have no idea how much it really means to me, and uh, the fact that they're doing so well really means a lot. And I appreciate you all so much. And um, yeah, but let's get right to the episode. If you enjoy, make sure you guys please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and let's get right to the episode. Here we go. Voids, holes, spaces. You never truly know how deep yeah, they are until you try yeah. to fill them. I know there are places that will always Dang. be empty because Billy always used to have the them, tool set. I remember when him and Laura had that I episode where he was helping her with the sink. Yo, I love that episode. It was good for them. And that kind of like brought them back together in a way, you know. All right, Arctic. Jordan. <laughs> Hey, babe. What are you doing down here? It's like three o'clock in the morning. I know, I know. Um, just, I'm just trying to figure this out. I'm so close. I'm... What? <laughs> What's wrong? What happened? I have been troubleshooting for the TZ99RD. Okay, this is the TZ99RB. Hey, hey, and... I'm not asking about the fridge. Can you talk to me? I love them so much, man. They're like. Fix the fridge, replace screws on dining table, and talk to Oscar about it. Oh, well, well, his dad's list. list. Yeah. To -to list. I found my dad's stuff. Dang. Jordan, you know you don't have to do this. There are a million things that he was that I will never be. I know that. But I'm the man of the house now. You know, I have to be there for, for mom and Liv. And how am I supposed to do that? I can't even handle one of his You can. Lists. It's putting too much pressure on yourself. Look at them, bro. They're I like a married couple. They're such a married so couple. I said it last episode. They just were part of. Okay, enough with the looks already. What's yeah. going on? We have to talk about Mrs. Baby. What? How are you going to tell you that in her own house? And sir, when you came back to Oakland with me, and told me that you needed to decompress from wow LA so he went to oakland see i knew he was going to leave you just can't i thought it was going to be longer no, though no. i told everybody he was going to leave Coaches can't reach out to me until i'm in the transfer portal which i'm hoping to make happen today if 80 wants to play ball as long as transferring is what you really want to do it is i'm i'm ready to get on with it we wanted to 
talk to you about your mom. You know we love her, and we're so happy she's Bro, stay. Her. That's her house. <laughs> By the way, a fact that is not lost on any of us. Mm. But um, have you noticed since she moved in, she's doing this whole like den mother thing? Only every morning when she wakes me up like a preteen. <laughs> yes, and she's been throwing away like really important mail. We wouldn't have had bartenders for tonight if I hadn't found this in the trash. Same with my upstairs, downstairs hoodies. Like she puts my downstairs one. Bro. Upstairs. Rack or Patience is annoying, man. Wait, you're, you're mad because she's yeah, right? I'm not mad. Like, Cold every morning. Okay. Well, I you expecting someone else? Spencer James. He was supposed to be here by now. Unless you've heard otherwise. Well, he's in Oakland, sir. Oakland. Oh. Oh, here he is. Jordan had me worried that you were out of town. Nope. I just got back this morning. Great, great, great. Okay, listen, gentlemen, we need to talk about our football team. Well, actually, I'm transferring, uh, sir. So. Dang. Okay, well, maybe you should just, just take a piece yeah, of Yeah, Spencer. All due respect, there ain't nothing for us to talk about. I informed Coach Kenny a week ago, and I've already handed in my application for approval. Wait, you're leaving GAU? Yeah, but the compliance committee is taking forever to sign off. And you want me to put in a word with the compliance committee? Yeah, I've heard he can speed things up. Hmm, well, unfortunately, Spencer, my plate is full at the moment. So if that's what you came in here to say, then I wish you the best in your future. Dang, yo, <laughs> yo, Spencer, dang. Well, guess I shouldn't be surprised. It always takes a baker man to come and save the day. I'm sorry, sir. But save what exactly? GAU football. The NCAA is very close to deciding on the sanctions for Garrett's bounty gate scandal. And rumor has it that the punishments could be very severe. And it's the type that a, a program may never Oh, become. shoot. I'm still not sure how I can help. Yeah, how can he help? Now, I'd, I'd hoped to introduce a man who would lead our young men on the field. Our new head coach, my friend, Billy Baker. Now, I know many of you knew Billy from his days in the league, but Billy's legacy, his true legacy, Lives on within these players. Oh man, he's using the Billy Dev to try and, and make sure the sanctions aren't as bad. Jordan Baker. Jordan Baker is the future of GAU football. He is untainted. He's not comfortable with this, man. To carry on his father's legacy as a leader of men. He's talking about my dad and pulling me up for a photo op. Wait, Barnes didn't tell you that he was going to announce your dad had accepted the head coaching position. If he had, I would have told him that my dad changed his mind. He was going back to South Crenshaw. Wow. See, Barnes, he's trying to put as much distance between Garrett and GAU as possible. And hiring your dad was the clean slate angle. But with your dad passing, he needed a new story. And you're it. It wasn't supposed to be just me, coach. Why didn't you tell me that Spencer was transferring? Come on, man. You guys are thick as thieves. He didn't tell you himself? No. Apparently, there's a lot of stuff he's not telling me. Did he tell you why? Look, he quit. All right? That was his decision. I'm here for the guys who stayed. Yeah, uh, bro. They got to talk to Spencer, man. Spencer's going through it, man. Oh, my God, Mika. Hey. Hey. What are you doing here today? Um, isn't this the girl that's supposed to be stalking her? Bro, this is so hard, bro. She's so, bro. <laughs> it's been my favorite new spot since you brought me. Oh, my God. I'm bothering you. No. Sorry. No, 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 no. I just, um, I was just... Like surprised to see you. You sure? I definitely got the message last time. Unfollow. Yeah, I, di I didn't mean anything by that. You know, I just. Um, Why would she unfollow him? Like, oh deal. man. I just wanted to say how excited I am for tonight's video drop. Like, the vortex is buzzing for fire and ice. My post about it got like ten thousand likes in an oh. hour. I'm, I'm glad people are excited. And I block all the haters who talk trash in my posts. Wait, people are like. What, trashing the video before it even comes out? Some stands love to hate, that's all. Uh, this but is I so... I don't think you're going to have many haters after this tonight. This is so... I think everybody's going to love it. Kind of. Okay. Thanks. I'll, I'll, I'll see you, okay? Now this is giving me... Oh, judgment. shoot. Kia? What are you doing here? <laughs> hey, I missed her. I wish she would be on the show more. I was just giving a little talk about my work with community organizing. And I'm surprised they don't activism. find a spot for her yeah, at GAU. I'm just telling them you're going to be a pretty big deal, but at least. <laughs> well, you're a pretty big deal in Uncle Flip's TV room on game day number 11. TV room? 
Look, I'm too no G, but he's too young to <laughs> that. Yeah, but he's too much like my granny to call it anything else. If he ever needs me to sign his plastic couch cover, I won't judge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's good to see you, Spencer. You too. And I'm really sorry about your loss. Thank you. I'm meeting up with some of the old crew later. I'm not sure where yet. What's the old crew? Well, my crib is basically empty. Perfect for a kickback. Miss Grace good with that? Go with me hosting the next Stacey Abrams? Hell yeah. Come on. Come on. He is definitely like trying to be um like husband vibes by like uh fixing stuff. Oh. Oh. Where are those from? Some fan, no one. Yeah, you football's coffin. I mean, have you talked to Spencer? What does he think? This affects him too. <sighs> He's done at GAU list. Yeah. Wait, done how? Done playing football there? It was pretty clear with Barnes this morning. Come on. Hey. Ah. Got it. I did it. <laughs> but um, why is Spencer oh, yeah, she shook. you? I mean, he was all about saving the team and Coach Kenny. Jordan. Yeah. Um. I. I. I get the. I get the idea mm. that something went down between the two of them. But I am just trying to respect the space that Spencer so clearly wants right now. Yes, but it can't hurt to check on him. I mean, seeking his advice on this whole Barnes dilemma, it's the perfect excuse. Tomorrow that I am. I'm kind of freaking out about it. And I can really use your help uh, because I have no idea what to say. So, give me give, give me a call. Yeah, man. I feel bad for Jordan, man. He's trying not to think about his dad's loss, man. He's trying to make up for it by fixing stuff. Well, I'm here, man. Let me holler at you. So was that press conference for real? I mean, what the hell's going on at GAU today? I ain't following it. I mean, what you saying? That's your team. Yeah. And that boy here dude up there talking about Coach Baker was going to be the next head coach until he passed? And I thought it was Cap until I saw Jordan standing right next to him. Yo, why would Jordan vouch for that? I mean, Coach was coming back to pressure. Look, I wouldn't listen to nothing coming out of that place, okay? They ain't on one. And there's nothing I can do to change it. Come on, man. We all know. Wherever you go, you bleed those colors. So keep it a hundred, man. What's the real? It's out of my hands, OG. Gotta let the adults fix this one. I appreciate you coming through, though. Thank you for the tacos. <laughs> he ain't good with this. Little homie Spencer James. It's all good, oh, man. Still. You too. All this because I didn't want to talk about GAU? No, not wanting to talk about GAU and not caring about your team. That's not the same thing. Yeah, I'm going to say this as politely as I can. Mm, Why you been there? Now we're going to finish this game away. Oh, man. Yeah. They got to see that he's struggling, man. That he's like just not in his right mind, man. He's just. I don't know. Oh, this is so nice, honey. Feels good. Easy. Make him one of you guys. You are, Mom. And not just to me, all of the girls are really happy to have you here. Right. And, you know, we just want to make sure that you know that you can just be a roommate, you know? Just, like, live with us. I do live here <laughs> with you. For now. Right. Um, but, you know, you don't have to, like, take care of us, you know, like the mom stuff. Oh, I think I've been pretty chill about Jordan coming down from Layla's room with oh. pounding bottles of water like he just Yo, yikes. Yeah, no, oh my um, god. <laughs> um but I'm, you know, more so talking about like you know, the morning stuff, you know, messing with people's mail and oh, man. putting your bags and clothes in our closet, making sure you wake me up before you leave the house, you know. Right. Actually, you know what? Um it's not a big deal at all. You're right. Oh, man. I don't need to be doing that anymore. Yeah, man. They, oh, they're rude as hell, man. They like it, it wasn't even that big of a deal, bro. We need Miko and her followers happy and in our corner. Yeah. And it's just a post. Uh, they doesn't like this. And I don't like it either, honestly. And I'm eating today. Huh? Yo, no, shoot. You here now? Let's talk. You know what? That's fine. There's a lot of conversations that we just don't need to have right now. But you left me high and dry this morning with Barnes. 
Oh, and thank you for the heads up on transferring. Now he's yeah. got me roped into this publicity stunt for the disciplinary committee. No, I, I need you. about that. Not much, though. Things been kind of busy. Spencer is wilding, man. Now, dude. What do you mean? Well, I mean, you're sitting here and you're acting like nothing in the last three years matters to you at all. Look, Spence, I have been trying to respect your space, but our friendship deserves better than that. Chill, bro. We still friends? Hang out. Bro, <laughs> Domino's. When, since, when does Spencer even play Domino's? Spence, that might help save GAU football. Which I still care about, by the way, even if you don't. I see, that's exactly why I'm leaving, man. GAU is sinking. It is broken, Jay. Come on. None of that's our fault. I don't need to carry that weight, and neither do you. What happened to the guy? That told me my fight is inside those walls of GAU. And when you told me you were leaving, remember what I said? I gotta do what's right. For yeah, me. that's that is true, I guess. But this isn't what's right for Spencer, though. It's not what's right for what's right for Spencer at all. Look at him; he's slipping, man. I'm sorry, mom. I, I tried to fix it since dad isn't here to do it. Your dad was gonna fix the fridge. <laughs> yeah, I mean, found it on his to-do list. He was gonna call somebody. He was probably gonna call somebody. Worse. It's okay, sweetheart. Anything worse. Oh, so would your dad. He would lose sleep, track down parts, yeah. until I'd have to call yep. a professional <laughs> to fix everything he broke. So I've been beating myself. Yep. Trying to take care of things on that list that dad was never yep, able to do. You have. Feel better. I feel like an idiot. <sighs> You just lost your dad. It's hard to know what to hold on to when you lose something so important. Right now, I'm just trying to hold on to his legacy. In what way? By not using his memory in a way that would let him down. There is no legacy that mattered more to your dad than you and Liv. He'd never want you to hold on to any part of him that held you yeah. back. I love how many moments she's having with her kids, though. Like, I love that they're bringing her more into the show, it seems. You all right, Mom? Just realized he wanted the same thing for me, too. Yeah. yeah. But I can't see Laura with anybody else. I, can, I, I, I literally can't. Even when they were going through their problems, I couldn't see her with anybody else or him. I'm playing ball. Dang. You the one that came back with your tail between oh your legs. Oh my god! Oh, god. How's it gonna come at me when you the one that quit on the game? The game was taken from me when I bought mm. the yell. Yeah. Your coach Baker called me after it happened. He was the one that convinced me to play college ball in the first Dang. place. He didn't even know. You know what he reminded me? That there ain't no shame in going back home, as long as you go back strong. Look, bro, I'm sorry about your knee, but if that's supposed to mean something, something, mm, not this ain't about me. It's about your podcast <laughs> coming slinking back here to run away from your problems in Beverly mm. Hills and take your crap out on us. <laughs> okay. Spence, do you even remember what it means to be Crenshaw strong? It means not being defeated or afraid, not bailing on your people like we all heard you do to Baker. No, I like you know my business, man. Right, I don't know your business, but I do know that you could have been real with us about leaving GAU, but you weren't. You could have stepped up for your boy, Coach Baker's son. But you didn't. Yeah, so he's just getting here, getting God. drunk. Coach Baker ain't here to see you now. All right, all right, all right. You said enough. Damn right I have. Come on, okay. Jordan. Believe that you know what's right for you, and when you find it, do it your way, Jordan Baker way. That's the legacy. Okay. What? What if my way conflicts with a prior engagement? You're ridiculous. <laughs> Go. No. Oh. The quick realization. Oh, shoot. Oh. Bro, they're so good together, bro. They're so good. Bro. They no, they're beautiful together, man. I love it. I love it. I love how much she's there for him. I love her quick realization that, oh my gosh, she just said, I love you. And then him turn around and say, Now, this team is not playing for my dad's legacy. It is playing for its own legacy. Now, Barnes, he didn't believe that this team's future would convince the NCAA that we deserve to survive. But I do. 
And I think it's time the future spoke for itself. What do you say? Huh? I love that Jordan's taking control of this. I love it. This wish Spencer was there. You know what the problem is with you regressing back to old high school, Spencer? I guess you're about to tell me. Spencer, you being someone who you were is just another way of you being someone that you're not. It's a mask. It's not yeah. real. And being real was always the best thing about you. Oh! Uh, <laughs> Are you serious right now? What? You wanted the real, right? Unless you ain't feeling it. Oh, so you really trying to send your whole life into the gutter? You know what? I'm... I'm not Dang. Wait, wait, wait. Right now. Okay, hold that. I'm sorry. You know, He's a whole girlfriend and the girl that he wants to be with, so he wildin'. Deal with yeah. your grief. Stop using it as an excuse. Although I wish I'd rather him be with her than Alicia or anybody else besides Liv. You know, Liv that's that's in game right there. I see Lee. Um but I would like Key Kia more than uh What's her name? Alicia. But Spencer's wilding right now. <laughs> I just wanted to explain why I reacted the way I did about the mom thing. It was a totally messed up thing to say, and I feel so terrible. Don't worry about it. I was just caught off guard because it wasn't until you listed out all the things that I realized I used to do those things for your yeah. dad. Oh my God. You were white. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> I can't even write in my journal anymore since dad died. Wait, I thought that was like the first thing you did every morning. It was, since way before I met your father. And now every time I sit down in the morning and I look at the last thing I wrote on that day and I can't write another entry. And I think that's why I was wifing you guys because it's the one morning routine I could continue. Dang. What does it say? The last line you wrote. It says it was a good morning. Yeah. It was. That's all she has to write then. But Just keep writing he, that. I think he would want you to turn the page. Mm -hmm. Until she's ready, you know. Keep writing until she's ready. And then, you know, it'll come to her. I feel bad for Laura, though. I really want her and Spencer to have a scene, man. Are you sure these are the flowers Miko sent? Um, I mean, they match the description. Love from the Vortex. Yeah, that's what the card said. How'd you know that? Because I brought the flowers in thinking they were a gift from your friend Vortex. Layla, these were just sitting at the front door. Miko sent them to the oh. house. Oh. She knows her Oh, life. shoot. That's creepy. That's weird. Dang, that's really creepy and weird and sus. Jordan, what are you doing here? Our meeting isn't until tomorrow. I've already said everything I want the disciplinary committee to hear. Me and the rest of the condors. I, it's in your email. I just need you to pass it along. <laughs> you know, son, that's not exactly how this works. Okay, so if you'll excuse me, we'll discuss all of your talking points at our scheduled meeting tomorrow. With all due respect, sir, I'm not going to let you bastardize my dad's memory by using his death for your gain. That will never be who I am. But more importantly, that is not who this team is. This is about the fate of a multi-billion dollar institution. No, sir. This is about the team. And we know who we are. We're not following Garrett's legacy, or my dad's, or yours. We are building our own. Our players. Our dreams. With a coach that we've chosen. And if you want to take one last shot at saving GAU, by all means, it is in your email. But to keep you honest, you're not the only person I've sent it to. It is either that or nothing. Uh, I love Jordan doing this, man. He's really taking control of it. And A.D. Barnes is going to listen. He's going to listen to it. Hey, she's writing. Today was a good day. Yeah, see, that's all she has to write until she's ready to write more. So what, are you going to tell Patience tomorrow or? I, yeah, I don't want to ruin her night. Who is this girl anyway? I mean, I thought she was just some awkward, harmless fangirl, but the truth is we don't know anything yeah, about Yeah, don't. Her. How did you get them to post all the players' videos on the GAU website? <laughs> I didn't. 
I sent the compilation to one of Dad's TV contacts. And then once Barnes learned that they were gonna air it, do a kind of like a special interest piece, kind of forced his hand. Huh. Barnes, of course, is now taking credit for all of it, both the video campaign about the new legacy of GAU football and the new hire. I mean, it's pretty cool that his video went viral, too. Yeah. Feels good to have the whole team back together again. You think Spencer's seen the video? Might make a difference for him. And who I am is a leader. Okay. Someone okay. people can look up to. Hey, Coach Kenny's gonna be the head coach, right? What are you guys doing here? I think they have an offer for you. <laughs> we are here to meet our new head coach. Someone they can count on. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> coach Kenny deserves it, man. He deserves it. He should have been the first head coach anyways. Beyond Billy. And I didn't want Billy to be the head coach. But I'm glad if it's not if it's not Billy, then it's him. Oh. Bro, spit bro. Spencer, bro. He you you declined Billy's call. Now you're gonna Dang, yo, yeah, he's not, bro. He's not doing good at all. Bro. Spencer, gotta stop declining calls, bro. You decline Billy's? Can decline lives, man. As much as I wish I could hear you say it, I know you'd be proud of me today. Dang, man. <sighs> man. Oh man! All right, yo, that was, this was a good episode. In my opinion, it wasn't as good as the uh, the last few, but I thought this was a really, really good episode. Um, I loved all of it. I loved the Jordala stuff, man. They, I love when they talk. I love how they seem like such a married couple, man. I can't unsee it now. They're so married, and I love it. Um, I did not love that that they all told Laura to stop doing what she's doing. Like that's her house. Like she's going, she's grieving. She's still going through a tough time. Um, just because they wanted her to stop doing it for selfish reasons, you know, like how hard is it to ch check the trash can, you know, in the mornings, like, you know, to see w if she threw anything away, you know, I get it. It's annoying, but like, come on, it's like something that's super, super small in the scheme of things. Um, and I love that Coop was the only one to like really stand up for Laura, you know? Um, but yeah, um, I, this episode was good. It had a lot of good parts. I hated the whole Spencer being off like by, by himself with like a different group, group of people. Um, I thought it was just weird and him just drinking, getting drunk, it just he it was so not him. Uh and that was just weird. I love seeing Kia though. Um, you know, I wish she would have been would have been able to get through to him, but she wasn't. Um all that. I love Jordan taking control of everything. I love it, man. Him taking control of everything and just really just just take control of me strong, man. Just I, it's it's uh it was great. Um, I love Eddie, Eddie Barnes listening to him. They hired Coach Kenny. He's the head coach. Spencer saw the video of Coach Kenny being the head coach and all them, all that stuff. Um, but I still, it didn't really seem to change Spencer's facial features all at all. Like, he still seemed the same way. He put on his hoodie, and I don't know what he's going to do, but I feel like it, it's, it's happening now. The breakdown, everything, it's really, really happening. It's setting in for him. And the spiraling is going to continue, and it's going to be bad. Um, I love that Liv called him and texted him, asking if he wanted to talk. Um, I think that's going to come in handy. I think she's going to be the only one to be able to get through to him. Because uh, you can tell, he's just cold, man. He's just cold right now. He didn't even tell Jordan he was transferring, you know. Um, it's just, it's different. Spencer, he's not worried about anybody else right now. He's just worried about himself. Um and the big story is patience and this girl, whoever she is, sending flowers. They she knows where her patience lives now. <sighs> it's 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 scary, man. It's that that's a scary thing. Um, I'm really 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 interested to see what's gonna happen um, with that whole thing and where the story goes. Cause I don't, it's not gonna be good. I don't think. Um, but yeah, I mean, this episode was was solid, man. It was it was solid. Um, I just love seeing Jordan, this being Jordan's episode. I loved everything that happened with them. I love the Jordana love confession, man. It was beautiful. It was amazing. I think they're just perfect, man. They're perfect, honestly. No, jo no uh, Astro and Jamie this episode, though, which sucks, um, but it's okay. Um, but overall, episode was really solid. I enjoyed it a lot, and um, I'm excited to see where it goes next episode. I'm excited for all of it. 
and I think it's going to be really good. And uh, yeah, but that's my for the video. If you guys enjoy, make sure you guys please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and see you in your bar. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.